Libra. Little daddy or mama with them scales. <laughs> Welcome to your February reading. I'm sorry that it's late. I'm also sorry that you guys were the lowest number of views last month. Hence why it took so long, but we're not tripping about that. Like I always say, energy always comes right on time. So, this message is for someone out there. Who needed it? Right now. Not four weeks ago. Okay, so can I get four cards? Sort of, kind of, a little bit. Past, present, and future for my Libra friends. I'm going to use the bottom of the deck for the overall energy of the read. What it is that they need to know in their process as they grow this month in February. What messages, Spirit, do you need Libra to know? What can you tell them to help them grow? Look at me like Dr. Seuss. All right, messages for Libra for February. I don't talk about me. My nails are way too long. I gotta get them cut down and because I cannot live like this. This is like this cannot be life. <laughs> Alright, three cards for you guys. Past, present, and future outcome advice. However, the cards fall unintended. <laughs> okay. Overall energy, bottom of the deck. Ooh. <laughs> My goodness. Really, Libra. The lovers, eh? Okay, so this can go one or two ways, okay? Either uh, this uh, reading is going to have a lot to do with uh, you linking up with a soulmate or something, or it's going to be about the unification of your divine masculine and feminine energies within and finding balance within yourself. How awesome is that? I'm so excited. Because y'all are like balanced because your scales and, you know, that whole thing, you know? Okay, so... Let's see, we got your past energy. And your past energy we have, ooh, awaiting results. Oh my goodness. You know what this is, right? Seven Pentacles. Seeds well planted, my friends. So, not to worry. Wait a minute. Is that what y'all are, uh, is that what you're waiting results on? Is this a uh, relationship? I don't know. You're going to see. Your present energy is... Ooh, who got this? Aquarius. Aquarius? Was it? I think... It, yeah, it was Aquarius. Yeah, so... And they got in the same position. So maybe uh, these are some Libra peeps with uh, Aquarius in your chart. Or maybe uh, you guys are dealing with an Aquarius who's going through the same thing that uh, you guys are going through right now. A Libra and an Aquarius relationship. That's interesting. Interesting. Alrighty, and what we have going forward is... Oh, oh my gosh. Love of Bells. This is the Ace of Cups. Oh my gosh, I think this is a relationship. <laughs> this is so cool. Okay, this is interesting. Wow, alright. So, my Libra peeps... Like I said, in the past, is the Seven of Pentacles. So this is pretty much like, you know, like I said, seeds well planted. It's uh, putting time, energy, and effort into something that is probably taking forever for you to see. Like, you're seeing a little bit, you know. It's not all here, you know. But um, it's, uh, it's like you invested heavily into something or someone. And you're just waiting to see if you're going to get a little, you know, ROI a little return on uh, that investment. And that can also be not also, it doesn't necessarily have to be with a relationship. I mean, I'm kind of feeling like it is because <laughs> just saying, you know, just saying, okay. It's really looking like that, but it doesn't necessarily have to be particularly with a relationship. It could be with a job, you know? Cause I mean, your job could be your soulmate. Sure. <laughs> course it could you know or something that you're extremely passionate about you um yeah in the event that it is about like your career it's like this is something that you really really like feel in alignment with like this is you without a doubt passion purpose what you were put on this earth to do 
and you've put a lot of work into this um, over the course of your life or your adult life. You put a lot of work into this over a course of time and you're just really waiting to see the fruits of your labor, you know, because um, you're manifesting your vision. But presently, this is the moon card. And um, this is, like I said, the same place that Aquarius is in. It's like really confronting your past in the sense of like your inner self. So it's like really doing that shadow work. And um, so if you guys, because uh, Libra, isn't What's that for Libra? I think Libra is, uh, yeah. I think it was a peace dealer that was saying something about that, about like cardinal signs and you guys being psychically attacked and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, it was a whole big thing, but y'all know I can go off on tangents in a minute. But, <laughs> but right now it's like you guys are really facing yourself. So like past pains, like from your childhood, I said, you know, maladaptive thought patterns false core beliefs it's like you guys are really and then i also use the example of if you've seen the black panther movie this will be very relevant to you <laughs> i said for aquarius um if uh like like in the movie and this is not a spoiler alert it's not in things so i didn't give the movie away but um when the black panther became king and he had to go through the whole ceremonial rites and all that stuff and you know they had him drink the little purple stuff and you know they buried him when they after they buried him and he woke up like what happened when he woke up that's like the place that you guys are in right now if that helps make it make more sense so you're really going within to look at the those like i said maladaptive thought patterns false core beliefs it's the counselor in me coming out that are holding you guys back presently because if this is in relation to career it's like you guys have found like where it is that you want to be right and you've put in a lot but you're kind of stuck it's like the reason why you're still waiting for um you know the abundance of your blessings and all that good stuff is because you know this little hurt boy inside of you or little hurt girl inside of you um is preventing you from seeing you know the full-on man of your dreams and desires like everything that that you've been working so hard for and the thing like because with this being a major arcana card um i look at these as like heavy influence from spirit so not to say that you don't have any control over your own life you know because of course yeah free will you're making decisions all the time but this is kind of a little an extra little boost from spirit you know like when you're kind of on the ledge you know and you're kind of like eh, and spirit's like bam go ahead and make that decision you know <laughs> so this is really like a um this is a really spiritual time like this is this is unfinished business with the self that really needs to be faced because it when we don't um settle our unfinished business guys oh gosh hashtag gestalt therapy when we don't finish um or resolve our unfinished business we are going to consistently keep reliving this over and over and over again with different people. And this is really similar to what I was telling Aquarius. So if that's in your chart, you might want to go uh, look at that. Or if you're dealing with an Aquarius, go check that out. But it's like an exchange of people. Like the roles are the same, but the people may change over time. But you find yourself reliving the same cycle over and over again. And it's because your inner self needs resolve on it. Like your inner child needs the answers to, you know, why my daddy was never there for me when I was a kid or I don't know my dad or, um, you know, why did my parents put me up for adoption or, you know, why did, you know, my mom have a drinking problem, like whatever. It's like anything that caused wounds in you when you were a child, it's like these things need to be resolved because you're self-sabotaging like the thing that is causing this to not fully manifest to like a ten of pentacles is these unresolved wounds and unforgiveness that needs to be healed within your shadow self so it's shadow work that's going on right now so if you guys have been hit in a major way by the super funky energy in february do not feel bad okay because for each person is different you know but we've all kind of been going through that so that's why everybody's been feeling like really like meh this month okay but if you guys do this which i know you are because y'all are about that personal development life and whatnot then uh it's gonna be a new beginning for you guys and the same goes for those of you who are in relationships because the two major things that i'm seeing for you guys i'm seeing it on um 
a career side and I'm seeing it on a relationship side. So um, whether you guys are in a relationship or you've just met somebody new, you know, and you're kind of trying to see how this is going to go or, you know, you've put so much, you know, work and effort into this union with your partner and, you know, they may be a little a-hole sometimes and you're waiting for them to change and you're like, what are they doing? The foundation of this, well, I'm not even going to say the foundation, but the source of you guys' problems on both ends is that this is the place the two of you need to be in. So maybe you guys kind of took a break and stepped away. In the case that it is a couple who uh, kind of took a break, this is what y'all need to be doing because your, um, you guys' pasts, you know, this past pain, this is affecting your relationship from being here, okay? That's kind of what's what's halting you guys if it's like a lot of conflict between the two of you it's like the relation and it's making me think of that angel answer card um what is it your your family relationships are influencing your love life or something like that it's kind of a situation like that so it's like the way that you're interpreting your partner's actions is being greatly influenced by the perception that you have of relationships as a child and i think that's on both ends for you guys or maybe it may just be for um, for Libra. Like if somebody dumped a Libra <laughs> for being a jerk or something, it, the reason why is because you're you're kind of recreating that pain from your childhood. But it's a good thing because Ace of Cups in the uh, future tis that's super great. So if you do this work, this is what you'll have. You know, because that's what's holding you back. We don't want to self sabotage. We're not about that life. It's not what's hot in the streets right now, right? All right, Libras. So we're going to go ahead and move forward to your uh, what it is you need to let go of or surrender to this month. I look at this as your tangible action step on your journey of inner work because inner work is so awesome, right? Of course it is. So we're going to get one card for that and move on to your love and your angel answer card. So what is it that Libras need to surrender to this month? One card from a Libra friends of what they need to. Okay. Those nails. Jeez Louise. One card of what my Libra friends need to surrender to in the month of February going into March. What's going to prepare them for March? Because I'm about to. Since y'all have the last sign, I'm about to start on March readings. How exciting! Yay! Okay. One card for my Libra friends. <clears throat> mm. surrender stress take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body let the stress go as you come back to your center yeah man so chill okay <laughs> that's the super easy way i'm gonna put this just chill relax you know i think was that aquarius they got the just breathe card i think it was because stress dude stress is like oh my gosh stress like, you know how people say, like, oh, stress can kill you? Like, that's real. Like, you holding on to stress, like, that creates so much toxic... Ta I cannot talk, y'all. Oh, my gosh, the children in the running. Okay. So much toxic energy in your body. And not just in an energetic sense, but... I'm, well, it's... Everything is in an energetic sense. <laughs> but how it manifests from energy to, like, physical manifestation like in a legit real way it's just the hormones that starts to release in your body it's like being in flight or fight mode fight or flight mode constantly and that shuts down like a lot of facets of you like i'm not a medical doctor people so bear with me okay <laughs> I, I just told that to uh someone i knew that's an occupational therapy i was like i literally know nothing of uh anatomy like you guys do you know but <laughs> anyway um relinquishing stress is so good for your health so i mean whether it's you guys starting to um incorporate deep breathing or time management just anything that's gonna um make you feel less stressed you might want to start looking into stress management techniques because um especially like when you're going through this because that this is it requires a lot of energy and effort to really look at some things that are extremely painful guys trust me i know it's what i do for a living at helping people face these things and it's 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 something that it, it's a lot y'all it's a lot it, it really is a lot without because i'm trying to stop myself from going off on tangents but it's a lot 
okay it takes a lot of courage to face these things so you don't need any additional stress in your life right now if you're going through um you know just like this this shadow work phase because that takes a toll on you energetically already so i mean for now and going into the future it's like I don't want to tell you not to worry about stuff because, you know, it's easier said than done. But um, just really, really trust in the universe, yo. Look back at your past and everything that you've accomplished up until now. Look at all of the times that you doubted yourself and you thought you wouldn't make it through or you thought you wouldn't get the money to pay a bill or you thought you failed that test or whatever and you overcame it. You proved yourself wrong, you know. So you're a strong person. Y'all got this. Let that stress go. I was hot in the streets right now. Stress is so blah. And I'm saying this to an air sign. <laughs> Come on. It's like somebody's out there like, what stress? I thrive in stress. Turn my papers in. Like after I stayed up all night and typed it. It's like stress is nothing. No, it's slowly eating away at your body. Okay? Let go of stress. You're good. That's what I want to tell you. I want to tell you that you're Gucci. So if you felt like an icky, you know, haze over your life, like, it's what you're going through right now. That's why. But it's looking good for y'all nonetheless. So, no worries. So I'm going to pull uh, a romance angel card for my singles and for my couples who have, in essence, already gotten a love reading. Congratulations on all this love you got going on, you know? Because, like, legit, the lovers and uh, the ace of cups, you know? I mean, if we had a little two of cups in here, you know? Yeah, whatever. It's new. It's new. It's either a renew in your love or new-new. If y'all can get this uh, shadow work under control. So, one card for my single Libras. One card for my coupled Libras for February single Libras coupled Libras all right the singles mm -mm -mm. unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay for those of my single people maybe you guys have connected with a soulmate okay just because you connected with a soulmate does not mean that you guys have to be together okay Trust me, I've learned that the hard way. <laughs> Moving right along. But just because you, like, because this is like, you know, soulmate connection or whatever, but just because you meet a soulmate, it does not necessarily mean that this person's meant to be in your life forever. But what is that? They, life partnership, person, life partner, whatever. It doesn't necessarily mean you guys have to be there forever. Yet, it is ordained for this person to come into your life to teach you a very valuable lesson. Blah, I cannot talk. A very valuable lesson in relation to your own personal development. Therefore, what do I mean by that? Showing you the connection to the things in your childhood. Okay? So, let's make this all make sense. Unrequited love. So, the term that I use for this would be emotionally unavailable. Maybe you had a parent that was emotionally unavailable. If you were a guy, maybe your mom was. If you were a girl, maybe your dad was, right? So, when I talked about unfinished business and kind of like going through those cycles, doing the same thing over and over again, this would be your unfinished business with one of your um, opposite sex parent, right? Or maybe just looking at your parents' marriage in totality, whatever, whatever the case may be. But um, you may be attracted to people who are like maybe your opposite sex parent who is emotionally unavailable. So, you wonder why you keep meeting people that have like very narky tendencies. Or maybe some people tell you you have some narky tendencies or whatever. Or, you know, you just always feel like you're giving so much to the relationship, right? You're giving so much and you're just sitting up there waiting for this person to be like, oh, you know, I love you too. Or you've done all this really stuff, great stuff for me, you know. And here, I'm going to reciprocate all that it is that you've invested into me. And you just be waiting, you know. For those of you who've kind of been on the fence with that, where you feel like you're giving too much to a dating situation and the person isn't really giving you back the equivalent of what it is that you're putting in, it is one of those situations because love relationships are supposed to be an equal give and take. It's not supposed to be take, 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 and you give, 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 give. We need to set some boundaries in this piece. That might be why you're behind it so doggone stressed out. You need to let them go. You know what I'm saying? She's looking to the past, so 
might be a past relationship with somebody who keeps coming in and out your life that is not giving anything to you. All they do is take and is stressing you out. But if you do this personal work, okay, and you look back at these patterns that you've been living in your life, then you can have this beautiful emotional new beginning with someone who's more in alignment with what you are that can actually give you back what it is that you're putting out. Feel me? All right, now. Now, for couples. Oh, man, there's kids screaming. I told you, I have people at my house. I think I told y'all that. Oh, wow. Yeah, she's really yelling. So, um, <laughs> for, I'm so sorry. Y'all hear my niece right now? All right, for uh, couples, <laughs> oh, my goodness. Stay optimistic about your love life. So in the event that, um, okay, guys, I have to pause one second. I'm so sorry, <laughs> Libra. My niece and my uh, my son were screaming bloody murder. So uh, I had to see what was going on. And apparently it's like, oh, nothing. And it's like, so we're just, okay, whatever. Moving right along <laughs> to my Libra people that are in couples. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Okay, so in the event that these are people who are already together, right? And say, you know, you're with your life partner, soulmate person. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> I'm seeing once you guys go through this stage of, like I said, healing those family wounds, things that are uh, relating back to your childhood, kind of similar to how it was for Capricorns, you guys are going to have like a fresh new reawakening in your love lives, right? Things may be looking kind of crappy, you know what I'm saying? Because maybe you guys separated and you took a step back, you know? You guys may have taken like a break, so to speak. You know, like mini temporary breakup, right? And you might be stressing over that. You know, you may be afraid that, you know, the person that you're with isn't coming back. Or maybe they felt like you weren't, you know, treating them right. You know, and they were like, you know, they're done or whatever. And, um, but I mean, I'm saying this lightly for like, you know, a couple that y'all are taking a break and didn't actually break up. I'm not saying go back and force yourself back on your ex. We're not saying that. But for those of you who kind of took a break, or maybe you guys even separated, maybe a married couple, or maybe you guys separated, the source of a lot of you guys' problems in your relationships is the fact that this wounded inner child needs to be faced. Those wounds need to be healed. If you do that, right, or if your partner is doing that, stay optimistic because, you know, they're going through it. They're facing these things. And, you know, you may doubt that, that they're actually going to change. But stay optimistic about that. Like I said to um, Aquarius, in the event that, you know, it falls into one of those, like, you know, somebody who is slightly, you know, abusive or is really abusive, make sure, don't be staying optimistic if this person has gone through the cycle of abuse with you several times and just most certainly should not be in your life because you're waiting for nothing, okay? If they're not doing their work <laughs> or they're not treating you right, keep your boundaries up when this person comes back, you know, stay optimistic. Don't, you know, uh, project the past onto them or in the event that this is a person, like a new person that you're with, don't, because it's, I'm sensing for some people, one of those things where, you know, you're kind of projecting your past onto this person so whether that's like a male figure or a female figure from your childhood that you're projecting onto this person you know or a past relationship like a bad relationship that you're in and you're projecting it onto this person you know um don't don't do that you need to go do your shadow work and see why does you you know projecting that onto people <laughs> and stay optimistic stay positive everyone is not the same okay all men are not the same, okay? All women are not the same. Surprise. <laughs> but if you do that work, then you also have the opportunity, whether it's with someone you're with or someone new, to have an emotional new beginning with them. So we're going to do our angel answer cards. But it's looking really good for you guys. Like, maybe there was a reason <laughs> that y'all were last like this because, I mean... This energy I feel for, what was this, Aquarius, Capricorn, and Libra, y'all have had very, you know, like, light, flowing. I'm not over here with my heart beating all fast and like, oh, Lord have mercy, Jesus, what is going on? I'm not feeling like that, y'all. I'm feeling good. <clears throat> Who knows? I might knock out all 12 signs for March tonight. 
But yeah, we're going to do three angel answer cards for any questions you guys have in relation to this reading or that you just want to know. I'm going to pick one, two, and three. You pick a number. When I flip it over, that's your answer. All right. Okay. Three cards from a Libra, friends, that are so cool and scaly and such and whatnot or whatever. Three cards from a Libra, friends. One two and three are y'all ready of course you are you're a libra you were born ready all right if you pick card number one your answer is mm, meditation brings answers if you pick card number two your answer is choose a new direction ah oh, was that aquarius that got that there i think it was yeah i y'all got i'm seeing a tie between y'all and aquarius y'all might want to go check that out because it, it, whether or not you know like your sun moon and rising well you of course you know your sun sign because you're watching this but i mean your moon or your rising sign may be an aquarius if you don't know what that is uh i think it's cafe astrology i might throw a link in the bottom where you could put in your birth time and where you were born all that kind of stuff and find that out because it's a lot of similarities with um aquarius so anyway um it maybe it's just because y'all are air signs who knows whatever watch it if you feel led to cross watch it's always great anyway um <laughs> if you pick card number three your answer is big happy changes oh that's so dope yeah i can believe that y'all are about to have some really good stuff that's about to pop off i can't wait to do your march reading as well so i'm looking forward to you and um Capricorn. I, I almost said Capri Capricquarius almost came out of my mouth, but I stopped myself. Terrico Capri Capricarius. It's a name for somebody out there. Well, Libra, it has been a pleasure. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I hope it resonated. I hope it helps you on your journey and your life and your evolution. And people are screaming. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this before I embarrass myself any more than I already have. Love you guys, and I will see you in March. Deuces! <laughs> Thank you.